was the first word or phrase that comes to mind after you read the script? Shocking. <laughs> Do you want more words? <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I had to be a part of it because when Dana first told us the story, we were on a Metro North train, Dana shared the whole story with me and Jen Silverman, and I was riveted. This story intersects with so many different ideas of love and connection and building relationships and belief that it was just really juicy. Dana basically saved and printed every Twitter DM and every email that she and this 13-year-old sent back and forth to one another. And there are timestamps to all of it. You watch how long it's been between one message to the next message. You watch people navigate building intimacy and trust with one another. The thing that is exciting about Dana and is exciting about this piece is that Dana is such an open book and is so willing to talk openly about this. And I think at the end of the day, it's a play about belief and choosing to be able to still believe in things. Especially right now, I think we're all in a place of struggling with what we can and can't believe in. And so I hope that is really resonant for audiences.